Alright. Oh, I have to go edit my uh, my vlog for the week too. Oh, I got a lot to get done. Um anyways, my grandma went for a her walk. Oh, I see her. She's over there, but my aunt, my great aunt, my grandma's sister, wanted me to help her with her computer. She can't get on the internet. She don't got Wi-Fi. <laughs> and she's like, see if you can help me. I was like, okay. So there's an old box my grandma used to have. She just doesn't have it anymore. Bye, grandma. <laughs> Y'all didn't hear her. She said, bye, baby. My grandma is in her 80s and she's still out here walking. She's actually 85. Ooh, how old is my grandma? I think she's actually 86 or 87 because we celebrated. I think she turned 86 this year. Basically, my grandma is doing very well for her age. She's very blessed. Both of my grandmothers. I have a, a, a woman, a family of strong women because my grandma and this is why my dad had four girls because the women in our family are strong and they also live very long my uh, grandma on my dad's side is I think she turns 93 at the end of this year my grandma on my mom's side is 86 I want to say I want to say 86 so I remember celebrating her 85th birthday earlier this year her 85th or 86th I think it was 85th I think she's 85 I don't remember her 86th birthday but I remember her 85th and I feel like that was earlier this year because that was a big birthday and my younger sister yep she's 85 because my younger sister's 25 and my youngest sister my mom and my grandma are each 30 apart so that's how I remember my younger sister's 25 <gasps> Is she 25? Wait, I'm 28. My younger sister's 26. Okay, my grandma's 86. <laughs> my grandma's 86, y'all. My mom is already 55. She's turning 56. My grandma's birthday comes first. So she's 86. She's 86. Definitively 86. I was about to say, I don't remember 85th being this year. Y'all, I don't know people's ages. I gotta think too hard to get to it. But that means my youngest sister turned 26 because I turned 29 and my other sister's 27 and she's I'm a year and a half older than her. So right now it's I'm 28, my younger sister's 27 and my youngest sister's 26 and her birthday was in May. Girl, I've been thinking she was 25. She is not 25, she is 26. She is closer to 30 now. I'm about to start reminding her. Actually, let me not remind her because I'm a year away. <laughs> I'm a year away. Y'all, I can't believe I'm about to be 30. Okay, I'm about to be 29. I only have one more year left in my 20s. I just want to have, I, I want to have my life almost together by 29 so that way you can be together by the time I'm 30 because I'm not about to be 30 still living well you know what I'm not gonna knock anyone because everyone has different situations if you're still living at home in your 30s you know what whatever reason that you got there I hope and pray that it gets better because people don't end up in situations for no reason I know that for certain with myself. Mine is a little bit of me and a little bit of not no job security, but it's a bunch of stuff. Either way, well, I'm still kind of the problem with the job because I never stay anywhere, but I don't stay anywhere because I'm like, even if I stay here, I'm not making enough to get to qualify anywhere. Like I could only qualify for um, low income housing. <laughs> Like, if I was still working at Kohl's or TJ Maxx, like, I couldn't afford an apartment all, um, even working full-time, I wouldn't be able to afford rent, which is, on average, about 800 a month if I didn't have a roommate. I don't know why this car is going so slow. I keep getting stuck behind the slow people on roads, and it makes me so angry. So 
sometimes. This is what en enrages my road rage. People driving like 10 miles under the speed limit for no reason. Like, why are you on the brakes? It's 45 and I'm going 36 right now. I was going 33 earlier because people be idiots. And they don't have a handicap thing on. So I know you're not a senior citizen. And if you are a senior citizen, get us a, a, a handicap thing on your plates when you're driving so people know to avoid you because you're dumb. <laughs> this is my road. My version of road rage is calling people dumb. I don't curse, so I'm not out here calling people. The worst you'll the worst you'll hear from me is idiots. Like, oh. That person was so irritating to drive behind. Cause why are you driving so slow? It's 45. <laughs> like I said, the worst you'll hear me call someone is an idiot. And there is a bunch of vlogs where <laughs> someone kept commenting, you need to stop calling people idiots. Well, I'm gonna call people what they are. If you don't know the rules of the road, you don't need to be driving. And if you can't follow the speed limit, like at least be within five miles of the speed limit but 10 miles under is ridiculous my preference is five over <laughs> my personal preference i'd rather be five miles over the speed limit than five miles under but if you're at least within five miles of the speed limit i won't be as mad now i'm gonna be mad regardless if you're going under the speed limit but 10 miles under the speed li limit and you're stuck on a one-way street enrages me sometimes enrages me sometimes because that is too dang slow that's too doggone slow and i'm sorry i got places to be and i'd rather get there in the the amount of time google map says which means you need to be going the speed limit and like i said my preference is five miles over Anyways, guys, I'm going to show y'all what I got from Shein. I got some really cool, cute stuff. So I'm excited. This actually came really fast. I don't remember when I ordered it. It must have been last week. It had to have been because it's like I don't usually get my orders in less than a week. So it had to have been a week ago. Um, anywho. <sighs> like I said, my road rage only is engaged when people do dumb things that affect me. If you do dumb things that don't affect me, that's on you. But if you do dumb things and it affects me, I'm going to be mad. I'm gonna be angry, I'm gonna be upset, especially if I got places to be and I'm stuck behind um, grandma's. Okay, here's a quick haul of what I got from the store. Cause once I get back inside, I am probably not leaving my house again. And I don't know if I'm gonna vlog anymore tonight cause I'm tired, I've had a freaking long day. It's 8 p.m. I left my house at 8.30 a.m. this morning. Wait, that's a lie. <laughs> I woke up at 8.30, but I left my house at 9.35ish, so almost 12 hours. Yes! All right, look at this, guys. So, I got all of the Rick and Morty. Oh, where's the one I actually wanted the most? This one. So, I got all of the Rick and Morty. If I can hold these up lip glosses i'm probably gonna unbox them on my tiktok i'm just gonna show you guys what i got on here and then i also got this um pickle rick i don't even watch rick and morty y'all this is why it's just like i love themed palettes i love themed makeup even if i don't wash it if i see the theme and i like it i want it because i just have a, i like collecting unique things honestly is really what it is but this is the pickle rick setting spray guys and at first i was only gonna get these two right this would have been less than ten dollars like no one like i wasn't mad at myself but i finessed a 15 dollar off coupon 
and was like, well, I would have spent $15 on just these two if I paid full price. But since I'm getting half off, might as well get all of the lip glosses because I thought they were all pretty cool. So we got all of these and a setting spray for 15 bucks. So I don't think that is a bad deal at all. And I can live with myself for having $15 less. I can live with that. What I can't live with is, you know, and I didn't use any payment plan. So I paid that in full. I also think for me personally, I don't want to use, I'm trying to not use credit or payment plans anymore. And so now um, that also is helping me because if I can't afford to pay for whatever I'm purchasing in full, then I can't afford it. If I have to use Sezzle or Klarna or Afterpay or PayPal, that means I can't afford it. So... You know, these are all the steps I've taken or I'm taking to help with my spending, help be better with my bad shopping habits and work on my better myself as a person. I don't know why I said all of this last stuff so like upsetish, but really it's just me being honest and transparent about things and i've never gotten on my page and said i was perfect i've never gotten on here and claimed i had all the answers if people don't like how i live my life how i do things if you're gonna be mad because i spent my own money on things i didn't need um yeah don't do that but i'm happy even if it enrages other people for whatever reason all right that's all guys bye